Hi, all. For your lab this week, um, on since we're talking about lakes, I would like you to take a look at using the Washington Water Quality Atlas. So this is the state of Washington, and if you Google Washington Water Quality Atlas, uh, you should be able to find it. And we're going to look at this for marine and freshwater. And for the first site, a uh, sample site, I am going to do a place called Tumwater, which is a fun name. And let's take a look at their map. This is a little look at GIS and how it can be used for ecosystem studies. We did not get much of a chance to use GIS in class, alas, but uh, you'll get a little taste of it here, and some of you have taken a larger class on it. So let's see, I am going to minimize this. So this has a lot of data in it. And um, we have centered right here on Tumwater. That's the spot that I picked. So uh, I'm going to go to um, Add Map Data. And I'm going to get rid of the water quality standards. You see there's a million things you could choose here. But let's just go with Assessed Waters and Sediment. And uh, let's see here. I hit Go. OK. So this gives us a nice little rating system for sediment and for surface water uh, in the Tumwater area here. Uh, and you can see it has a red to green rating scale, which you can probably figure out. Category, category 5 is not a good thing here. Uh, this is uh, These are highly impaired waters. And then as the colors progress toward green, they get better. So category 1 are uh, meeting all of the water quality standards and in good shape. Same thing for sediments. They have the same coloring system for contaminated or uncontaminated sediments. So let's go to Tools. And I am going to create a buffer. Um, and let's see if I can do this. I want to choose a five-mile buffer. And I'm going to center this right on Tumwater. So more or less right there. OK, so there's a five-mile buffer ring. Um, and what I'm going to want you to do on this is anything in that five mile buffer ring, um, I want you to click on anything that's red. In other words, if it's red, it is some, it's somehow impaired. <clears throat> so let me go back to the legend here. And let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see our five mile buffer ring. Okay, so for example, here is a big lake that appears to be colored red, so it's impaired in some way. Um, so if I click on that, you can see what's listed category 5. Uh, and I'm going to do the drop down here and get the details on that. And it says uh, phosphorus is a problem here. So this lake is contaminated by phosphorus. And if I click on view listing, <clears throat> it gives me um, a lot more information about this. So this is called Black Lake. It's contaminated by total phosphorus. And if you look here, it says um, down here, the summer epilimnetic mean concentration, you guys know what that means now, epilimnetic mean concentration of total phosphorus exceeds the action value. That means there's too much phosphorus in this lake. In fact, in lots of years, in fact, just about every year that they list here, uh, it was contaminated with phosphorus. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to want you to do is grab a screenshot of this. Um, if I go down here to my snipping tool, if you are a Mac person, I don't know how to help you, but if you're a PC person, uh, you should be able to do, do this. And mostly I just want this portion of it. That's good. And I can copy that, and I'm going to paste it onto a Word document. Okay, good. So that is, and I can minimize that. <clears throat> and I can close this and go back to my map. Uh, no, I don't need to do that. I can go back to my Okay. So that was for our first spot. And now I can go to this little stream here. And that also has a category 5. And if I go to the details there, um, and I go to View Listing. This is called Salmon Creek, and its parameter is pH. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see um, yeah, so this, this um, stream exceeded its pH standard. I'm not sure I'm looking for if it was higher than or lower than. My guess is it had some acid intrusion 
So um, it um, did not pass um, some years because of its pH. So again, we're going to do the same thing here. I'll grab my little snipping tool. Do a new snip. And I'm going to show that for Salmon Creek here, its parameter was pH. And I'll paste this as well. Okay. So you're getting the idea. You're going to do this for all the places in the watershed that I give you. Close this. Right. So, um, there's another stream, a couple streams here. There's another lake. Three, so I have probably uh, five lakes or six lakes here that are colored red. And then one big long stream here, two, three, four, five, about five streams as well. So you would do this uh, same thing for all of those. Really, I want you to find out what is the main parameter that has lit this up in red. In other words, what is polluted about it? You can also use your screenshot or snipping tool, do this one more time, to grab this map. And let's do a new one here to show your five mile buffer. And I'm going to put that on my Word document as well. Copy. And I'm going to paste that at the top, and I can call this document uh, Tumwater Washington continue to add to your Word document in that way. So I want you to do this same thing. Let's say no. And if I'm going to, let's see here, get out of this, go back to my map. Actually, yeah, I want you to I want you to start this over actually and go back to the start page. Yes, yeah, good. Okay. I want you to do the same thing for Bellevue, but Washington. I think I spelled that right. If you click on map, there's Bellevue. Okay. So once again, let's see, I have to minimize this, and I want to go to add map data. We'll get rid of the water quality standards, add the assessed sediment, scroll down. And then let's add a buffer. So go tools, buffer. I want this to be a five mile buffer, and I want to center it right on Bellevue here. Okay, so you see it has the same sort of thing. Um, if we go back to our legend here, the area is lit up in red. Now, some of these look like boxes, um, and the reason for that is that those are sediments that were considered to be contaminated. So you've got one, two, three sediment areas, and one, two, three, four, five, maybe six stream networks. You don't have to do every tiny little stream, about six streams. Here's another sediment area here, about four sediment areas and about six streams. So click on each of those, see if you can figure out why it's contaminated. Do a little screenshot of this whole picture, call it uh, Bellevue, Washington, uh, water and stream pollution analysis. Um, and then copy and paste all the reasons for that, uh, those pollution incidents and um, save that on a Word document and upload it to Notebull, uh, and I'll call this Lake Washington Lake and Stream Lab. Uh, and that's your lab for this week. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to go out and visit places like this, 
but um, we'll do this instead. And you get a little idea of how you can use GIS data and buffers in order to learn more uh, about the information that's behind each of these aquatic features. So let me know if you have any issues, but I think you should be able to do that. This is due um, next, uh, next Wednesday, which would be April 8th, I believe. Good luck.